Hello everyone. My name is Swan Sukla. I welcome you all in my YouTube channel Let's Solve. In today's video, I am going to solve numerical problems of mindology. This video will be helpful for all the jam and get experience. So if you are new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon and also share among your friends. So let's start. First question says total number of mirror planes in the 4 over m 3 over 2 over m point group is so first of all uh, to solve this question we should know that this point group belongs to which crystal system so 4 over m uh, 3 bar 2 over m belongs to cubic system and for cubic system the first symbol represents three mutually perpendicular principal symmetry axes oriented perpendicular to cubic faces and second symbol represents four axes oriented at an angle of 54 degree 44 minute to the principal axis and the third symbol represents six two fold axis or mirror planes oriented at an angle of 45 degree to the principal axis. Now, if we consider the given point group that is 4 over m, 3 bar, 2 over m, then the first symbol represents what? First symbol represents mutually, uh, 3 mutually perpendicular principal symmetry axis. So, there will be 3 axis of 4 fold. Now, if there are 3 axis of 4 fold, then this over m indicates that there are 3 mutually perpendicular mirror planes. Okay, so uh, there are three axes of fourfold along with three mutually perpendicular mirror planes. And the second symbol bar three, this represents four axes oriented at an angle of 54 degree 44 minute to the principal axis. So there are four axes of bar three rotation axis. Now two over m, the third symbol, it, rep it represents six twofold axes or mirror planes oriented at an angle of 45 degree to the principal axis. So these the this 2 over m indicates 6 axis of 2 fold. Now, there, if there are 6 axis of 2 fold and this over m indicates that there are perpendicular mirror planes present which are perpendicular to the given principal axis. So, if there are 6 axis of 2 fold, then there will be also 6 mutually perpendicular mirror planes to those. So, in, uh, in sum, there are total 3 plus 6, 9 mirror planes in the given point group. 3 mirror planes which are perpendicular to the 3 axis of 4 fold and 6 mirror planes which are perpendicular to the 6 axis of 2 fold. So total number of mirror planes in the given point group will be 9. So the correct answer of this question will be 9. Now here is a question. Find number of mirror planes and axis of 3 fold in the point group bar 4 3 m. So please do solve this and uh, Tell me in the comment section that how many uh, mirror planes and how many threefold axes are present in the given in this point group. Now let's proceed to the next question. And next question says, based on ideal end member formula diopside, the mole percentage of CaO for plotting the mineral on a CaO MgO SiO2 triangular diagram is. So first of all, to solve this question, you should know the formula of diopside. And the formula of diopside is CaMg Si2O6. Now you have to remember the formulas of all the silicate all the silicate minerals. So uh, in uh, the formula of diopside Ca CaMg Si2O6, if you break this formula into oxides, you will get CaO, MgO, and two moles of SiO2. So basically, there are three oxides: calcium oxide, magnesium oxide, and SiO2. And number of moles are written here that uh, one mole for calcium oxide, one mole for MgO, and two moles for SiO2. So total number of moles are there four. Now what we have to do? We have to calculate the mole percentage of calcium oxide. So to calculate the mole percentage of calcium oxide, we have to uh, apply the formula that mole percentage of CaO is equals to number of moles of calcium oxide divided by total number of moles. So, number of mole, how many number of uh, moles of calcium oxide present in diopside? So, there are 1. And total number of moles are there? 4. So, 1 by 4 in multiply by 100. So, mole percentage of calcium oxide in diopside will be 25%. Now, if this question were asking about the mole percentage of SiO2, mole percentage of Sorry for the disturbance. So if this question were asking about the mole percentage of SiO2, then what you have to do? Uh, just number of moles of SiO2, that is 2, divided by total number of moles, that is 4, multiplied by 100. So mole percentage, so it will be 50%. But if this question were asking about mole fraction, not percentage, so uh, how will how you will calculate? So you will just, uh, if uh, this question were asking about mole fraction, then just uh, number of moles of calcium oxide that is 1 and total number of moles that is 4 so this will be 0 
okay so like this you have to calculate mole fraction and like this you have to calculate mole percentage now here is a question find mole fraction of ngo in inacetate so for this what you have to do you have to, you have to just write the formula of inacetate break it down into oxides uh, and write down the number of moles of oxide present in inacetate then subsequently you have to calculate the mole fraction for mgo so comment down below what is the mole fraction of mgo in inacetate okay now coming coming to next question find out the retardation of a uniaxial mineral whose defect index are epsilon is equals to 1.565 and omega omega is equals to 1.468 and thickness is 30 micrometer so if epsilon is 1.565 it means it is the uh, refractive index of slow ray and if omega is equals to 1.468 uh, it means it is the refractive index of fast ray now the question is asking about retardation and the formula for retardation is thickness into birefringence now here the question like this what is birefringence so birefringence is what birefringence is a uh, refractive index of slow ray minus refractive index of fast ray and here it is epsilon minus omega and these values are given in the question itself 1.565 and 1.468 so what you have to do to find birefringence just subtract subtract 1.565 uh, to 1, 1.468 and on subtracting you will get the value of birefringence that is 0 0.097 now to calculate retardation what you have to do you have to just put the value of thickness and birefringence in the given formula so thickness is 30 micrometer and birefringence is 0 0.097 so on multiplying you will get 2.91 micrometer okay so this is the correct answer for this question 2.91 uh, micrometer here is a fact that birefringence and retardation of isotropic crystals is always zero now let's proceed to the next question here the question says the core rim compositions of a normally zoned plagioclase crystal are as follows so core composition is given ca0.6 nax al1.6 SI 2.4 O8 and dim composition is also given CA 0.4 and AY AL 1.4 SI 2.6 and O8. Now the question is asking the amount of increase of sodium atom, amount of increase of sodium atom from core to rim per formula unit of plagioclase. So now again for solving this type of questions, you should know the formula of minerals asking in the question and this question is asking about plagioclase so the uh, formula for plagioclase will be can alsi3 weight where alsi3 this uh, contribute 4 and here is it is odd, uh, oxygen uh, there are 8 oxygen present so this ratio will be 4 is to 8 that is 1 is to 2 this is maintained and the cana combines 1 moles okay now Composition of core given CA0.6, NAX, AL1.6, SI2.4, O8. So here uh, this ratio is satisfying 1 is to 2, 4 is to 8, 1.6 plus 2.4 is equals to 4. Now the thing is here CA0.6, NAX. Now this whole, comp uh, this whole com comprises 1. So calcium atom plus sodium atom, num uh, amount of calcium atom plus sodium atom is equals to 1. And amount of calcium atom given is 0 0.6. We have to find what? To find the amount of increase of sodium atom, to find the amount of increase of sodium atom, first we have to calculate the amount of sodium atom present in core and amount of sodium atom present in rim also. Okay, so in order in order to that, uh, we have just find the sodium uh, amount of sodium atom in core that is 0.4. Again, in a similar fashion. Composition of rim is given CA 0.4 NAY AL uh, 1.4 SI 2.6 O8. So here also uh, what we have done we have uh, just calculated the amount of sodium atom in rim and that will be 0.6. Okay now in in core 0.4 sodium atom are present and in rim 0.6 sodium atom are present. So what is the amount of increase of sodium atom from core to rim that will be 0.6 minus 0.4 and it will be equals to 0.2 okay now this is a descriptive way to solve this question you can easily solve this by by looking it at its formula that is a uh, core and rim formula ca 0.6 nax ca 0.4 nay so clearly if 0.2 uh, 0.2 moles of uh, calcium is decreasing then uh, 0.2 moles of sodium will be increasing 
okay so this is the thing so the correct answer of this question will be what 0.2 and this question is asking about answer in one decimal place so uh, clearly answer is 0.2 so it is already in one decimal place now the last question of this video the value of h in the miller bravais index by 2 1 h not is okay so here uh, miller bravais index is given now we have to calculate the value of this h okay so by looking this miller bravais index we come to a conclusion that this miller index is of a crystal phase that belongs to hexagonal system okay since given previous index indicates that the crystal phase belongs to hexagonal system so for crystal phase with miller previous index hkil so this is a uh, this is the rule that uh, for crystal phase with miller previous index hkil which belongs to hexagonal crystal system clearly because there are four principal uh, principal axes h k i and l so a rule is h plus k plus i should be equals to 0 must be equals to 0 for hexagonal crystal system okay so in order to that uh, the given miller bravais index is by 2 1 h not so by 2 uh, we have to uh, we can write this as minus 2 plus 1 plus h equal, is equals to 0 so on calculating minus 1 plus h equals to 0 h equals to 1 so the value of h in the given question will be what 1 now one more question is there for your practice that find the value of a in miller bravais index 3 a 2 2 so solve this and uh, comment comment in the comment section okay uh, give answer in the comment section that what is the value of a for this miller previous index okay so that's it for today's video uh, now if you like this video please don't forget to press the like button share among your friends and subscribe the channel if you have not subscribed yet and one more thing please join my telegram channel for daily quizzes as the jam exam is near so it will be helpful in uh, boosting your uh, knowledge and also preparation and revising all the concepts i will give the link in description below okay thank you